everybody. Welcome to Dryer Days Art Studio and Happy New Year. Happy 2020. Well, I was out of town for a little while, as some of you may know, and I wanted to share with you a couple pieces that I made for two separate people around the holiday season. I believe they gave these as Christmas gifts, and I wanted to share them with you as I live in the Buckeye State and had a lot of people really excited about these pieces. So this first eight inch round here done on birch wood on a panel that I got from uh, Trakel, and I will include all of their information down in the description below. I love their boards, great stuff. Uh, right here, this red is Roxanne by Larez Expressions, and I got that from Laura's Art Corner. You can find that linked below as well. Gonna be using the Jet Black Pigment Paste by Just For You Online UK, which you can find in my store if you're in the US. And obviously you can also find it in their store. And I'm going to be using some of the Silver Metallic. And this comes with Gold Metallic, also by Just For You Online UK. Available at DryerDaysArtStudio.com, which is my store. And also going to be using some fine Ruby Red Glitter by Just For You Online UK. It's so sparkly. And then finally, I am using some smoky gray glitter by Just For You Online UK. And these are the five colors uh, that I'm gonna be primarily working with. I will also use some Supreme White from Just For You Online UK to add a couple little accent lines. So as you can see here, I prepped these boards by painting them. I used the dry brush technique that you may have seen me use in other videos and got down where I wanted these colors to be on the board, which made it really easy when it was time to lay my resin down as I had that as a backdrop. I use that uh, not only for sort of a guide, but it's also nice to have a little bit of a background in case you have some transparent areas. Um, it's not just your plain white board in the background. Uh, this board did come gesso primed from Trakel, which is really nice, saves you a lot of time and I just taped the edges. Um, as you'll see when I show the finished product, I wanted you to be able to see the board. Um, the person who purchased this it was a custom piece and they requested it to be a trevette, uh, which I'll admit I had to look that up. It's basically like a hot plate and I am using stone coat countertops, epoxy countertop resin uh, because it is supposed to withstand 500 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, when she asked me if I could make this piece as a trivet, I went onto the Stone Coat Countertops Facebook page to ask if this had been done before because I've been a member of that group for quite a while and I couldn't remember ever seeing anything like that done. Obviously people are making countertops uh, with this resin, uh, but I wanted to know if it would hold up against a hot pot or a hot plate. 500 degrees Fahrenheit is very, very hot, so I was assuming it would be okay, but sort of wanted some feedback and only one person replied to my post and it was my friend Patricia Guy who is a patron of this channel and a big supporter of mine. Love Patricia. Thank you so much for all you do. Anyway, she had commented that yeah, because it can withstand 500 degrees, it should be fine. So uh, what I did was because this was a gift and she wanted to get it to her by Christmas, I finished up the piece, had it cure for uh, seven days wrapped it in glassine paper and included a care sheet that said, you know, please do not use this with any hot item until uh, at least 30 days. And I wrote on there what that 30 day mark would be so that they knew. And hopefully this works for them. I'm sure I know the woman, so I'm sure I will hear if anything happens, but um, I think this was a really nice piece and gift to give around the holidays and uh, made me think of maybe some people in my life who might enjoy a gift like this. So here I am just finishing up, laying in where I want all of that resin. I really love how all these colors work together. Uh, if you're a Buckeye fan, you know it's kind of scarlet and gray. Obviously I have some black in here for some depth and I will add some white as well to accent certain areas. Just beautiful when you lay the clear resin on top and watch it ribbon and layer and adding that heat gun air really helps marry all the colors together as well. Going in in sections like that as I was doing, you can see how they the colors stay nice and separate.
a little tip with the white, and this is goes a long way too if you're doing ocean waves, is get that white nice and warm, heat it up, kind of move it around where you want it, and then blast it real quick with your torch and it'll give you some really beautiful cells. Using an orange stick, I'm gonna get some effects, move that resin, marry some sections together a little bit. And now it's time for my Ohio State cutout. I got this board from the woodshapestore.com, which I will include down below. I like their boards too. They do birch wood as well, and this is about a quarter inch thick. Uh, you can get holes in their boards too, which is nice for hanging. Uh, Trickel also offers the keyhole option as well in most of their boards. I had not ever in my life used the ruby red fine glitter from Just For You Online UK before. I'm not a huge red person, but it was just gorgeous in this next to that Roxanne pigment by Larez. And of course the silver metallic, I can't ever say enough about that. Um, I'm curious if you've tried out any of the Just For You Online UK pigments yet. I really like the black, the white is phenomenal as well. And they've got um, about four different hues of blues, which I'm a giant uh, blue fan. So let me know if you've tried any of them out. If you have any questions about them, I'd love to answer them for you. And just using the same technique, going around this board, uh, putting that resin down. I'm sorry if you can hear my little dog, Walter, snoring here. Um, he's getting a little older, he's almost 10. And he just goes everywhere I go. And when I try to do these voiceovers, he's literally either at my feet or right now he's in my lap. And, uh, you know, if I shake him off and try to put him on the ground, it doesn't matter. He just comes right back and then lays here and snores. None the wiser that I'm trying to do a voiceover on my videos. Uh, so Walter the Havanese is here with you all. And I hope he's not bugging you too much here in the background, but. You can see too where I laid down the paint first. Uh, it's giving a really nice shadow in some areas of the board. And uh, you can see where that really comes into play and how that's helpful.
posted this video on my Facebook page before the board was even done curing. This is while it's still wet and immediately had several people interested and bought it right away for a Christmas gift for the principal actually of my daughter's school. A neighbor saw it on my Facebook and purchased it and I had so many people interested that I did buy some more of these lovely Ohio cutouts and I will be doing more of these. So if you're interested in that, keep an eye out in my store or on my Instagram or Facebook at Dryer Days. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys liked this video of these two pieces that I did in Buckeye colors. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, everybody, keep on pouring.